Welcome back. Glad you could join me again. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're focused and on your square. Are sugar babies proof it's all just a turn? Is modern dating just a transaction? Sugar baby to 30 plus leftover woman. Some of a mouthful. That's what she said. But then again, that's what many women would say, especially if these were women that are or were sugar babies. The point is, I'm going to do a bit of waffling. A woman dating a man for money is nothing new. However, it's more the modernization of the transaction. For instance, it's more the independence, yeah, that women have nowadays to sell themselves. Only fans, only fans. And other things like social dating apps linked to their Instagram and their OnlyFans, whatever. Whatever dynamic. But you see, my point is, is it becoming more that just regular dating is more just this now, the transaction? This sort of naive idea or ideal that one is pursuing love. Looking for the one, oh, the one. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Where on one hand, someone's looking for a companion and the other one's looking for a keeper, in a sense even though that's wrong to say, though it is. In other words, many women are lazy and would prefer to have a lifestyle of which they're catered to and for. Now, if they have a man that is a boss, they could then have a comfortable life instead of having to go out there and get a job and work for a boss. So my point is, again, the normalizing of relationships being a transaction. Almost the full embodiment of the modern term, she's not yours, it's just your turn. Of course. Because in it being a transaction, in you paying for, let's say, a service, where in a sense it's supposed to be a relationship at the same time, which a lot of modern relationships are and have been, but in paying for a service, of course you can then, you can then rotate, discard, and continue. But who benefits more? I mean, from this point of view, say this. Is it better to date women for love? or just as a transaction, where in a sense of it being a transaction, you have more power. You can just say, yeah, be quiet, woman, stop talking. I'm paying you, so shut up. <laughs> That's wrong, isn't it? Then again, no, it isn't. No, it's not. No, it's not. So in a strange sense, would it be better to date a woman for love or have her date you for money? Where in that sense, as a man, you still retain the power because you can just discard her when you're ready. Yeah, random. Quite a bit of a waffle, I know. But enough waffling. Oh, enough waffling. Let's begin. Hi, everyone. So I was asked to do a video about how to approach the money question, the allowance question. How do you bring that up and stuff? And so this young woman here is basically asking, how do you ask for the money? How do women let men know that, oh, yeah, she's going to give you some sugar, depending on how much money you got, how much have you got? Yeah, want some of this sugar? <laughs> how much have you got? I'm going to get into that right now. So this is something that I get DMs about and stuff. And it's like, guys, I've literally said it in, in a few videos. So when it comes to the allowance discussion if you have met them via a sugar dad okay let's let's break this down properly i feel like yep yep bear in mind this woman lovely woman but she can waffle jesus christ she can oh, she can waffle when i do my videos i'm jumping around i'm saying this and i'm saying that it's like it doesn't make sense so, yeah that's exactly so the first right what i'm gonna say right now is for when you meet someone via a sugar daddy website okay so you meet them on the sugar daddy website so you both know what it is you know that you want to be a sugar baby and he is going to be your your dad your sugar daddy <laughs> she almost said he's going to be your daddy and he is going to be your your dad your sugar daddy oh uh, yeah you can tell she's yeah you can tell she's had some experience <laughs> But the point is, some men should know and also wonder how many women do you think have had and have sugar daddies? Like, some men should understand how common it actually is, which addresses my point. But what happens to these women past a certain point where they no longer look lovely enough to be sugar babies? They're just older, you know, past the war <laughs> women. It's not funny, but it's like, what happens to those women? Are those the women that become bitter later on? 
are those the women past a certain age that are just angry and single for some reason and it's like you don't know why I'm just saying i'm just saying i'm just saying your splendor daddy or your way or whatever it is okay i didn't know a splendor daddy was a real thing <laughs> look at this i didn't know it was a real thing i thought it was a joke <laughs> It's, oh, I'm learning. I'm learning. Wow. So you meet up with him, okay? You go out for dinner or drinks, whatever it is that you've decided to do for your first date, for your first meet. You don't bring up money. You don't bring anything up. If he speaks about money, then he speaks about it. Then you can elaborate and you can tell him what you need and stuff. Proper garden tool. Now, the thing about this and the normalization of all of this in just modern dating is a lot of men do lead with their money a lot of men show off with their money like oh look at my car look at my knob look at my shiny knob <laughs> look at my rims <laughs> seriously seriously but yes in a sense men obviously do like to in a sense floss not their teeth but show off what they've got show off their wares i think the modern term is look at my drip as in my stuff look at my gear look how fresh i look so a lot of men do lead with their money anyway. So for some women in seeing this man showing off his wear, showing off his peacock effect, you know, glittering, shiny bastard, obviously she would think, oh, he has money. Oh, as a woman, modern woman getting the bag, whatever sort of bag, obviously that is appealing and would be appealing. They would think, oh, they can get a small portion of the big bag that he's got because he looks like a boss. Hmm. A lot of this is old. But it's mixed with the new elements of the internet and the interactions and the understandings of what's going on. Depending on what he's asked you. But when you first meet up with him, you don't bring it up. You don't. So what will happen is when you get home, you send him a message and you say, I had such a lovely time with you. What's the next step for us? Bring some of that vag, then we talk money. Disgusting. Yeah, that's, some men would say that which is kind of obvious and like, it's going to get to the point. However, this is obviously, you know, a sugar baby initiating, <laughs> initiating her want for the bag. And how much, how much are you willing to pay her for her time, her services, whatever? Okay. That's how you go about it. And from there, naturally, he's going to message you back. He's going to say, you know, how much money do you need? And I want to say, see you this many times or whatever. Men should be aware. Sometimes it's not that smooth. What some women would do is they would message you and say they need money for something. That could be the initiation of her seeing how much money you've got and how much you're willing to spend on her in an instant. Yeah. Pay attention, men. Pay attention. You just take it from there. Okay, so it's very easy. You go out, you have fun, you make him feel like, oh my God, she looks so good. Oh my God, you know, she, she's so much fun. Oh my God, she's not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's faking the funk, yeah, pretending to be so awesome and amazing. I mean, the truth is, no, she's not. It's just an act because she's selling a service. Not a complete gold digger. She's not bringing up money the first five seconds that she's met me in. So it's like, he feels like he's onto a good one. Bullshit but you're doing it strategically. So that's how you go about that. And then you just have to take it. I, I can't predict everything that's going to happen in your in your own conversation with him, but you have to take it then step by step, okay? So if you've met someone when you've been out and then you want to make him your sugar daddy without him knowing it, obviously. What? Wow, the deception, making a man. That, that, that is horrible. How do you make a man a sugar daddy without him knowing? Yes, men, women do this. This is why I said pay attention. Her asking you for random money, that's an initiation to see how much you're willing to spend on her. Then you meet him and you date him for a few times. On about the fourth date... On about the fourth date, if you haven't smashed her, then don't give her any money. Ah. That's what some men would say. Some men, some men would say that. You then start bringing up about oh my gosh, I'm so stressed right now, babe. I'm sorry, but I'm going to try to like have a fun time with you right now. Yep, yep, there it is. Yep, there it is. The deceptive. Yep, yep. Just like a woman. <laughs> yes. Yes. Ah, oh, yes. The deception. Just a matter of time. Just, just wait. Just wait, man. It's always there, isn't it? Yeah, it's always there. 
just wait now it's the crocodile tears of oh oh the drama oh the stress something is going wrong in my life and money will fix it if if, if i want to sell my pussy what's the problem then you could say to her you know what there's something wrong in my life it's a bit hard right now i need you to fix it yeah yeah transaction ka-ching ka-ching you sick bastard fish um and you start doing all that he's gonna be like what's wrong what's wrong and you tell him you know it's my rent or my debts or I've had some debts come out of nowhere that I forgot about or some unpaid car um fines or oh 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 the drama the stress <laughs> if more women were honest as to just fully what they're doing like look look you want this this is how much it is some would say that's wrong that's in a sense pro prostitution what? That's wrong. But then again, hasn't it always been so to a degree? A woman's not really going to marry a broke man unless she likes this broke man a lot. Whatever it is that you want to say, you just make up a fake, like um, a fake scenario, a fake problem. And or it might be real because a lot of you that are trying to do this seem to have no money. Ah. Hey, you broke broads. Hey, you broke broads trying to come up off a man. Hey, how, how dare you? How dare you as a woman being a broke chick try to come up off a man? Well, that's what many women have been doing throughout history, haven't they? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty normal, isn't it? A lot of broke women have come up off the man they got with that had more than her. Yeah. And you're trying to do this as like a quick thing, but it's not always going to be a quick thing. So it might be a real scenario for you. Whatever it is, you just say that that's what it is. And he's supposed to offer to help you. If he doesn't offer to help you, then he's the wrong one. He's not the one. He's not the one. She doesn't love you anymore. Look at that. She <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Give me a moment. Wait. <laughs> she doesn't love you anymore. You're not the one anymore. You're not Neo anymore. Because you're broke. You're a broke dude or you're not giving her the money. You're a Scrooge McDuck bastard. Yep. And you need to stop seeing him and you need to move on and see someone else. Okay? That's literally how it is. I can't believe I've done that in four minutes. So. Well, as a man, it can only take four minutes. <laughs> four minutes. I'm, jo I'm joking. Bullshit. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Transaction done. Ka-ching, ka-ching. All right. <laughs> ka -ching. Then are you worth 4000 a month? Do you look like you are worth 4000 a month? Are you playing the game like you're worth 4000 a month? If you was a guy and you was asking you... No. What? Silence, you fool. Again, is it more simple to just pay for a broad rather than go through the stress of... You know, trying to figure out if she's a decent woman or not. You can just pay, yo, I'm paying you to be a decent woman. Shut up. Just be decent. Then again, some would say that's that's so wrong and barbaric. And how do you date someone based on their income? And hmm, it's a point of how normal is it? And then how much are people willing to accept as to what is normal nowadays? Because some men don't understand a lot of women are doing this. Some men literally are going out there believing, oh, I'm going to give her my heart. And she should want my heart and nothing but my heart alone. Then realizing, nope, no, no. How much are you willing to pay based on how much any woman's actually flipping worth? Because as men, we have a choice, a flipping choice. Here, here, woof, woof, as men, yeah. In other words, in other words, focus, observe, remember. The world is yours. Have a nice day.